Hey what's up guys you got Crave here with a quick video on the Gigabyte Aorus Gen 4 7000 M.2 SSD and basically getting it installed in your PS5. Now of course there are other options out there for M.2s but it's really important to visit Sony's site for the details on which SSDs you can and should not put into your console. It's really important that you watch that particular site as you don't want to get frustrated by either the wrong M.2 or poor performance. So. Again, it's really just important that you read up on what's written on that page. Now, I'm not sure for other brands, but if it's anything like the M.2 I also put in my PC, then what's in the box is pretty straightforward, in that it's really just the SSD that matters. Now, I have to say though that unlike other M.2s or most other M.2s where the board is too exposed or the heatsink design is just very ordinary or just very meh, the one from this one from Gigabyte looks really good. It's just too bad and because mainly because it's really just hidden behind two plates when you install it. Anyway, for the other things you need, of course you need your PlayStation 5 and a Phillips or a crosshead screwdriver. And in terms of the screw and the spacer, they are inside your console. With that said, let's go ahead and show you guys a clip on how you can install the drive. Now that's done, let me share some numbers for two games where I tested moving over items from the console to the M.2 and the other way around. And I'll also show some numbers for the load times for two games which are Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Tales of Arise. There you have it, all in all, a pretty sweet M.2. 
Again, if you're looking around for an internal SSD for your PS5, have a look at the official site from Sony to know which drives are basically a good fit. Now, of course, you can also check well-known and reputable sites for recommendations, but really just be careful. Anyway, thanks for checking this out, guys. I'll talk to you soon.